Hello there, welcome to episode 2 of the Hardcore Iron Man. This episode, we're going to be doing nothing but killing cows. 10 minutes, nothing but cows. I'm kidding. We have a surprise. So I'm sitting here, I'm going to be training on cows for a little bit, and we're going to be taking a couple attempts at the Vampire Slayer quest. So let's get on the way for that. So we're on our way to go talk to Morgan to go start our quest, and I was tabbed out looking for a guide real quick just to make sure I'm doing everything properly. I would hate to start a quest only to realize I didn't have something I needed and or die and fail. So that's what I was double checking. Talk to Morgan. Uh, cry a little bit about a vampire, blah blah blah. Get on with your day. We're gonna go grab the garlic and then we're gonna go talk to his buddy in Barak. So I talked to Morgan, I managed to get everything done, I went to go try and kill Count Draenor, and let's just say I don't stand a chance right now. His health regen is too good for me, and I don't hit hard enough, and I also get hit like a truck from him. So we're going to be sitting here, we're going to be training for a little bit, and I'll get back to you. We are about done with our training, we're about to hit 20 defense. I thought 20 defense was a good little goal. There it is. I thought it was a good little goal, just so I could go get the mithril plate legs. And here we are buying the mithril plate legs. Pretty big upgrade for us. Hopefully that helps us not get completely owned by him, but we'll find out. Here we are fighting him. I caught about half of the fight I just kind of wanted to show you how hard it is to do this fight just because of how much health he regens like I just hit him for a three and then he heals almost instantly after that which means everything I just did feels like it does nothing so we're sitting here we're hitting him with a wet noodle and he's just gonna keep regening his health the entire time and then again this is only about half of the fight cut down but this is probably my third attempt on him so I've come to the realization that free-to-play really, really sucks. But we'll sit here and we'll enjoy this fight. We finally killed him. On your end, that may, may have been a minute, but on my end, that was probably three, maybe four minutes. Got 24 attack and 175 total level, which is nice. And that kebab just totally made me weak. Cool. That's the downsides of kebabs. I wanted to get 20 strength just to make it even. So I went back to the cows. We Here we are. 20 strength. Boom. Now we can go do some training for some preparations that I may or may not be doing later this episode. I found this nice little patch of normal trees in the back behind the Lumbridge Castle that I can just run around in a circle. They'll just keep respawning by the time I chop them all down. And I just keep running around in a circle, chopping them down, and then I am banking them in preparations for later but 
You can drop them, obviously, or you can burn them. I just thought this was a really nice little spot to power level through some early woodcutting levels. So we're sitting here and we're chopping our final tree for a nice level 15 woodcutting. We can now go and chop ourselves some oak logs and start gathering and stockpiling some of those. hundred and twenty six regular logs which isn't that bad that should get us to our goal that we need but now I'm gonna go chop some oak logs fast forward it a little bit um, <laughs> we have 40 wood cutting now I decided just to cut out some of the boring parts I sat there and I chopped oaks for a couple hours and then came over here and chopped willows for a little bit and we're just gathering a bunch of supplies to prepare. If you can't already guess what we're doing, we're trying to gear up for winter tot. Just because it may or not be unlocked at some point or another. And we just got 41 wood cutting, which is a great milestone. And boom, as you can tell, I am in the bank and I am clutching. So at this point, after the struggle, I decided to make membership a priority, and I got membership on this account. We got some of the early stuff done. It proved to be pretty pointless because Vampire Slayer and the other quest that I did, I mean, I guess the two mining and smithing quests I did were really good, no matter what. But the Vampire Slayer quest probably wasn't worth it, the amount of time invested into it. But we're going to sit here, we're going to fletch, and we are preparing for winter tot just to get some total levels out of the way. I wanted to get some range done too, and I was trying to figure out where I can get some feathers at. And down here at Shanty Pass, you can buy a whole bunch of the feather packs. We also got total level 250. I made a whole bunch of the iron arrow tips while smithing and here we go we're making a bunch of arrows so we can go train some ranging decided to go kill some chickens maybe pick up a couple of the feathers that and chickens seem to have really low defense so even at the lower levels i tend to hit them pretty quickly, even though they only have 3 health. I think my goal was just to get a whole bunch of the arrows at this point, get a couple of ranged levels. I feel like using ranged on this account will be very beneficial, just because of the lack of food and whatnot, and the fact that I'll be able to supply my own arrows, my own bolts, at some point or another. The only issue at some point would be getting the crossbows, or the bows, because we're either going to need a really high fletching level, or a smithing level. Something I forgot to do is the museum quiz, which is really easy. Gets you a thousand slayer and a thousand hunter experience. You can just go down here, push your button, and then Runelight has a nice little plugin that tells you exactly which one is the correct answer, and you just click on it and move on with your life. Here we are turning it in, getting our 1000 XP, which is nice. Let's just skip a couple levels. Helps a lot in the early game. And we will leave here, move on with our life. One thing that's easy to do would be the Witch's House quest. It gives you a good chunk of health experience, and you kind of need health for the game. So the more health I have, the less chance it is that I'm going to get killed by something stupid. So hopefully, this will do us justice. Bringing the ball back after some struggle, kind of had some stuff reset on us a couple times, which wasn't that fun. And boom, 
28 hit points. Which I'll take. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and hitting that like button. Thank you. I know there wasn't a lot of content in this one, which I'm sorry for, but it's those early levels that I need to get out of the way before we can start doing some cool stuff.